and the Bayakin and Moon or Zopanova Sinkatata. A Dalu Linacon is a good when I saw the name. Nibaopo Tata Boba Sabanidi, Cowan December twenty twenty three. Yeah, tenth of December twenty twenty three. I would tell you if I was an up or morning tea. And the Queen is so right of more for a foreigner. It's here, see, here, do you teach a Bastava community? And Manaduco City, oh, if I were eager to know how to Bastava car. If you have from Prime Minister, Gassi, the teacher, no Galaga, Macho Kun Gaya beef, Unigasi, on a tear for the Bastama key fair, each and no dink again. I had a con, I had a noble. Yenny Kubo, I hope it when I took a la on a slide with Tukalo. Malo, Gaya Kama, Eriki, the Gaya Bifi, Gaya, the Prime Minister, we get said, drop more comments again. All right, on the comments from below. All right, over to you, sir. Front of the aid into Gaza and they reach a long term political solution to the crisis. Visit followed the agreement reached overnight between Israel and Hamas on coordinated hostage release and a pause in the fighting. Following the agreement reached between Israel and Hamas for coordinated hostage releases and four day pause in the fighting, the Foreign Secretary emphasized on the importance of allowing humanitarian organizations to bring in more fuel so they can carry out life saving work on impended, including powering hospital, desalination plant, which supply 80% of Gaza's water. Foreign Secretary discussed with the leaders at the meeting how to reinvigorate diplomatic effort towards a viable two-state solution, which provides security for both Israel and Palestine, and restate the UK condemnation on the rise in settlers' violence in the West Bank. He went further to say he committed to continue UK support to, pre to prevent wider regional escalation, including in Lebanon and Yemen. Then he went further to say, today I have chaired a meeting of the leaders of Arab country and other Islamic state on the, situa on the situation in Israel and Gaza. The agreement reached last night is an important opportunity to get the hostages out. We discussed how to use the, the step forward to think about the future and how we can build a peaceful, which provide security for Israel, but also peace and stability for Palestinian people. I want everyone to now pay attention to those who have, who have formed the Islamic State, the nation, the foreign ministers from Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Egypt, Palestine Authority, Turkey, Indonesia, and Nigeria, as well as the Secretary General of the League, of Arab state and ambassadors of Qatar attended the event. I want you to understand how this group was formed. The group was formed as a peace committee at the Joint Arab Islamic Extraordinary Committee, is an extraordinary summit, which means Nigeria was represented and participated at this particular extraordinary summit in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia on the 11th of November. While all these things were going on, the Christians in Nigeria are foolishly shouting Jesus, shouting Lord, and people are systematically being killed, annihilated in quest to overrun the Biafra people. My fellow Biafran, when Nigeria was amalgamated, we need to ask the United Kingdom and David Macron or Cameron, whatever the name is, were there an agreement that after a certain period of time, Nigeria will officially become an Islamic state? Were there an, a clause in the amalgamation agreement? That in 2023, Nigeria will become Islamic State, and the Biafra people accepted it, and other indigenous nationalities in Nigeria accepted it, 
The answer is no. The same way the 1999 constitution was brought and forced on indigenous people, including the Biafra people, is the same way they have systematically forced everyone to accept Islamic state status in this particular 2023. And no Christian, no pastor, no GO, no OG, no men of God, no all this, they are or is their nonsense GUO or whatever talking and condemning the United Kingdom for systematically supporting the Islamization of Biafra people and every other indigenous person in Nigeria? We understand they have used terrorism, they have used force against everyone. So nobody has the God to speak up. But hey, those of you who are in position to speak up, why are you not speaking up? My fellow dear friends, as a result of what is coming out from the United Kingdom and how Nigeria has manipulated its way because of the ignorance of those who have been overrun, who have been, you know, conquered, and they can no longer talk especially the money mongers within the Biafra land, the Biafra government in exile, and the Biafra de facto government, otherwise known as the Biafra government, particularly are deeply concerned with this particular development, with this systematic Islamization as being sponsored by the United Kingdom and Abuja. In different parts of Biafra land, Nigeria terrorist soldiers had looted and burned homes, tortured, raped, and murdered innocent civilians of Biafra people in quest to force them and create fear into them so that nobody could rise up and speak against what is going on. Everyone watched those videos on social media, including myself. Today, we have liberated many provinces, many states within the Biafra territory that the terrorist military can no longer just go freely and burn the way they used to burn. We have all succeeded in creating a very heavy awareness that it is no longer hidden. I want to inform you today the barbarity of the attack in Imo State, in Enugu, in Ebony, in Anambra, in Obi Ibo Rivers, and every other part of Biafra land was palpable. The site of mass grave from the time of 1999 to date across Biafra land and the body littered in forest like the just what was discovered in Abia State in Lopanta in the forest. The body lined up on the ground. Those kind of things etched forever in our memory. And so are the people behind the horrific stories. They continue to live in our memory. The Nigeria terrorist army has committed more than genocide in our land, all in the name of forcing us to accept Islamic State. The young men with their hands tied behind their back, shot and killed by those who address themselves as security agents. We saw in Abia State where Biafrans were praying in the field. Over 150 was murdered in cold blood. We saw in Imo State those grandfathers who were shot in the neck while drinking pan wine in their residence in the morning, very early morning, in the old Imo State. Not even our women and children 
were spared. Just last week, they killed many in Ihala. We saw it. Everybody shared the video. I want to inform the world this evening and my fellow dear friends that since 2021, it is very clear what happened in many parts of Biafra state was not just a random episode. Those executions in cold blood were part of the bigger plan to silence every Biafran for Islamization, as can be confirmed by the United Kingdom today. And Abuja, it is very cruel, cynical, calculated. The UK and Abuja want to eliminate and annihilate Biafrans and also eliminate our statehood, eliminate our freedom, and eliminate our culture and values. This will and must be resisted with everything in us. They want to eliminate our national identity. They want to eliminate our sense of being. They want to eliminate our history. And above all, they want to eliminate our hope in the future. These are war crimes. And nobody is talking about it. We are not even expecting anybody to talk about it. We are going to force them to talk about it in due time. But I want to make it very clear, as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic of Indonesia this evening, that this amount to war crimes. These are crimes against humanity. In Imo, in Aba, in Enugu, in Ebonye, and Obi Ibo massacre have been replicated in the Biafra land and across other ethnic nationalities in their land occupied by the Nigeria sponsored Islamists and terrorists in uniform and other forces. It is time for everyone to wake up. Another target in Biafra land on the Islamization agenda in Biafra, the plan against our children and young men. The Biafra government has estimated over 45,000 have been killed. 13,000 are missing. 11,000 people, Biafra young men and women, are illegally held in custody, including Mazen Namdekano, who they kidnapped from Kenya, and over 3 million have been displaced from their homes by the United Kingdom-backed Islamization of Nigeria. Um, Thank you and stay tuned. This is Eastern News 24. Can we see on?